Good morning, it's Communion Sunday. And so we just want to take time to share communion with one another. If you wouldn't mind, it would be a good time just to pause the video at this time and go and get a piece of bread or a cracker or hand a cup that you want to share with one another or for yourself. The portion of scripture that we want to consider as part of our communion service this morning is found in Matthew chapter 26. And it forms part of the Last Supper that Jesus had with his disciples. And in that supper, Jesus uh, is, is telling his disciples that he's only going to be with them a very short period of time. But he also gives them a promise and makes a covenant together with them and with us. So let's read the scripture together. It's found in verse 26 of chapter 26 of the book of Matthew. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take eat, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will not drink from this fruit of the vine from now on until the day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. When they'd sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. So in keeping with what Jesus did that day, let us take the bread together, which represents his body the bread of life, because that's who he is, the bread of life. And he gives us the sustaining life. So let's take a piece of bread together. And let's pray and give thanks. Father, we thank you for what you've done for us in your son, Jesus, and through your son, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, what you did for us on the cross, that you took our sin, my sin, upon yourself. You took my shame, my guilt, and you took it away from me. That, Lord, you gave yourself. And in giving yourself, Lord, you have given us the ability to have life to its fullest. Thank you for this piece of bread, which represents what you did for us on the cross of Calvary. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let's partake together. And in the same way, after the supper, he took the cup, which as we understand is the third cup in the Jewish Passover. He took the cup, the cup of redemption. And he said, this represents my blood, which is poured out for you. For the forgiveness of sins. Let's give thanks. Father, again, we thank you for what you did on the cross of Calvary. Thank you, Jesus, that you gave your life's blood. You gave literally your life, which is in the blood, as a once-for-all sacrifice in the heavenlies that absolves us and forgives us and cleanses us and breaks the power of sin in us. Thank you, Jesus, for what you did. That you bridged the gap between heaven and earth, so that through your blood and in your blood and because of your blood, we can have forgiveness of sin and we can stand before the Father whole again because of what you did. Lord, you gave your life and that's what's represented here. Thank you for the covenant that you've made with us. Amen. Let's partake of the cup together. And having done that, the disciples then went on to the Garden of Gethsemane, passing over the Cadron Brook, seeing how God was going to give them new life. Let's just thank him for that. Father, we thank you for new life. We thank you that if any man is in Jesus Christ, 
the old life has passed away and behold, all things have become new. Thank you for that transformation within us, Lord. Help us, Lord, to rejoice in your goodness and in your love towards us. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace in Jesus' name. Amen.